Hi Aquarius. So I'm here to do the first half of October's energy read. Um, cross watchers welcome. Please don't thumbs down my video if uh, you're a cross watcher and it's not going how you like it to go. Uh, I've noticed that. Take it as it resonates. If you're drawn to watch that video, I'll see it from your point of view. Uh, be a bit more open-minded. So I'm going to be reminding people of that. Uh, I will be putting all information in the description box below about the services I offer, the online readings, the pre-recorded readings and the in-person readings for locals. Um, and I will be back in a week or so to do the last of October's energy read since it's a special one with the full moon being on Halloween. I'm also thinking of maybe doing something on Halloween, going live or uh, for all the star signs, see what moon energy we get. But I'm, I might clear my diary out for that day and uh, do something in regards to that. So Aquarius, what's going on with you for the beginning of October? Let's have a look. Overall energies for Aquarius, the beginning part of October. Energies surrounding Aquarius for the beginning part of October. If you do like my videos, please uh, like and sub subscribe onto my channel so then you can be notified of any further videos that I do. I do share them on my Facebook page. Um, but it would be more helpful for me if you can like and comment on the actual YouTube video itself. Keep my channel going. Cause I don't want to give them up. I do enjoy doing them for you all. Overall energies, Ace of Wands. Ooh. So if you know me personally, I always call this my dick pic. <laughs> Ace of Wands, newfound passion, you know, divinely given, you know, newfound passion. Um, so some of my Aquarius has got a bit of had, had a bit of a spiritual red bull lately. It's coming in, Ace of Wands. So there's some kind of newfound passion coming in. You find passion within yourself, tap or outer. So, situation, we've got the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So, some kind of teamwork, some kind of team has gone tits up, basically. The challenge is to get your Four of Wands, your 11-11. So, your challenge is to get that, the magic 11-11, the um, peace, contentment, abundance, a happy home life. So, I feel like you're kind of getting over the three of pen the three of pentacles in reverse. You know, no longer wanting to work as a team in that because you can feel something better coming in the future. Uh, you know, there's definitely something better coming in the future. With it being the challenge, it's to get it there. You're manifesting it. So why is it coming around now? Temperance, because some balance, some kind of it could be Sagittarius, uh, with it being fire, or this balance being. Uh, brought in it's almost like you're staying grounded but you're willing to kind of dip your toe in um dip your toe in to experience new things so recent past we've got the emperor so the divine feminine so you are reaping what you've sown right now because you've sown it in the recent past so the divine feminine or masculine doesn't matter could be dealing with a taurus or things could have happened in taurus season you know april April, May could have been significant. At present, the Nine of Cups wishes being granted. But the Nine of Cups to me is about making your own wishes granted, going and getting what you want. There's a lot of yellow here in your cards. To me, that's solar plexus energy. That's um, going with your gut instinct, being led by your gut instinct instead of the brain. Uh, near future, we've got the five of wands in reverse. So I'm getting like a nervous energy, but then there's no need to be nervous. The, you know, battle of the mind type of thing. Going with the gut, can I trust my gut? Yeah, you can trust your gut right now. Your power in the situation is the moon. So release anything that no longer serves you. 
no negative thinking, release anything that no longer serves you, be it the past, past teamwork or anything like that. Outside influence, the wheel of fortune spinning. <laughs> wheel of fortune spinning in your favour. Up so fears, two of pentacles, juggling. I feel like you you the the only fear that I'm picking up is going back to that emotional chaotic energy. Uh, with the two of pentacles juggling your emotions, your outcome is the magician. So we've got Aries now, but the outcome is well, the, yeah, the emperor is Taurus. So we've got Taurus, Sagittarius, and the magician. So your outcome is manifesting. Mercury retrograde starts on the fourteenth. It is real, you know, magician is the card of Mercury, so that could be giving you a timing as well. Um. But yeah, it looks like you are seriously manifesting. We've got the 11 11, we've got the Empress, we've got the Magician, we've got the Nine of Cups, Moon, Wheel of Fortune. Nice. Nice energies. So the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Seven of Wands. So you're not fighting for it anymore. Seven of Wands, you're not, you're not just fighting it, you're not fighting, you're not getting to know drama about it. It's like been done, gone, dusted, got a t shirt. I, that's what I'm kind of feeling. So the 11-11, you just want to move forward now. So we've got the Queen of Wands and the Empress. So to me, the 11-11, you could be dealing with a fire sound, but to me, it's about getting that passion back within yourself, that spark, starting to love yourself again. The Queen of Wands, you know, she is majestic. And then we've got the Empress under the 11-11. You've had the Empress twice now. So... You do have Taurus energy uh, with the 11-11. Sunflowers could be significant. I just got drawn to the sunflowers, that's all. Give me something else on that. We've got the moon. The moon in reverse. So it's like you've all, you have manifested this. This is coming in and we've got the six of cups. So... The person, a person from the past issues regarding children um, or soulmate energy, future soulmate energy. I want to clarify my new air. So the temperance card at the minute. Yeah, death and rebirth. So we're going into Scorpio season as well. We've got Scorpio now. You're getting all, you're getting all sounds. Uh, endings and new beginnings. But you're ready for these new beginnings with the temperance card. You're ready to put your toe in the water. Test it. Test the waters. I feel like you have been the death card, you know, there could have been a death within you, healing. Eight of Swords, so turbulent time, depression, anxiety, that type of thing, you're coming out of that, that's ending with a death card. So the Empress in the recent past, we've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I do feel like a, a relationship breakup, uh, finances... It could have been, you could have had quite a lot going on in the past. It all seems to be in reverse. But with the Empress being there, it's happening for a reason. It's happening for a reason because you're being led towards a soulmate. You know, that, that person might not be fully present yet. The Two of Cups. So you're being, pre you know, the past, it could have been a soulmate connection or you could have felt like it was a soulmate connection. It's kind of like you're realising now that it wasn't what you thought it was what it projected itself to be, the connection. So the Two of Cups. Ace of Swords, Justice. And the Shadow card in reverse. So you're beating your own demons at the minute and we've got Justice and the Ace of Swords. So to me, there's some kind of karmic debt's been paid off. Um, justice brought to a situation balance being brought into a situation truth and clarity you've gained some kind of truth and clarity we are in libra season so libra season is seeming quite it, when a lot of aquarius are gaining some kind of balance they, these new contracts coming whether that be soulmate contracts or whether it be in finances there's new this there's, there's something coming up which is like a wish granted king of cups at present with the nine of cups so you are on top of your emotions 
the four it's an emotionally stable man as well so you could be bringing in an emotionally stable person we've got the four of swords so that's my meditating card it's the pushing the thoughts aside allowing the gut instinct to guide you instead of the mind like we said earlier the four of cups could you've come out of an energy of feeling sorry for yourself now you're starting to see the blessings you're definitely ending the cycle and going to a, a brand new one queen of pentacles so you're feeling more grounded more earthy um homely she's holding flowers as well sorry i'm just noticing little bits see karma so you've ended a, a karmic cycle and you're going into a brand new karmic cycle so you're going through a shift my aquarius is going through some kind of karmic shift it was meant to happen page of cups because someone new's coming into your life so this is definitely turned into a love reading especially emotion there's an, been an emotional shift so the ten of wands in reverse that's always good to see in reverse so we've got right so we've got ten, in the near future with the five of wands in reverse so no battles the ten of wands is in reverse so burdens are being dropped the Emperor, so we have got the sign of Taurus, uh, Burns being dropped, Taurus, and then we've got the Three of Wands. Be patient and wait for your ships to come in. Abundance, things working out. New things. And then we've got Sagittarius again. So Sagittarius season could be significant, November, December. Uh, and then we've got the Lovers, so you could, we've got Gemini as well now. Oh, we've got a, a new romance blossoming here. So the Moon being your power. It's the one, dick big. So releasing the fears that are holding you back in order to go for what you're passionate about, in order to maybe you're not used to being that way. You know, there's some kind of transformation going on within you because we've got the Red Admiral there as well. So it's like the butterfly mode. So I do, a lot of my Aquariuses are looking quite taster <laughs> towards uh, the opposite sex you're putting that type of energy out there with the moon and the ace of wands so it's nice uh page of swords in reverse so that's good so as your power do not attack yourself do not overthink things so the wheel of fortune spinning it in your favor the hangman the light bulb moments so maybe you have had time to um kind of see things from a different perspective as looking back at the past why things didn't turn out or how it wasn't how you thought it was you know you're seeing things from a different perspective and that is the wheel of fortune because you're fortunate enough to go back and look at it like that then we've got the four of wands again the 11 11 so the outside influence is that you, you've got the 11 11 and the outside influence has got the 11 11 as well so it's almost like they're going to feel like their wheel of fortune is spinning once they meet you they've got the 11 11 peace contentment abundance happy home life the completion of this project so where's your fear the two of pentacles the eight of cups because you want to emotionally move on now so you don't want to go back into that element so the magician is your outcome the six of swords going from stormy waters to smoother waters three of swords healing page of wands because something new and exciting is coming in it's like you've found that little adventurer inside you that wants to go off and experience new things or new people. Ooh. The Nine of Pentacles. So you are showing as like independent. You are looking quite good to other people. We've got the High Priestess. So and the Two of Swords. So they're both in reverse. So, truth and clarity, it's been told you know about the secrets, you've found about the secrets, your outcome is getting past that element. So, they are using your intuition and things like that, not feeling on guard because of past. So, you could have been hurt in the past by your secrets and things like that. You're dropping your guard, allowing this person in. And then we've got the high priest giving you the keys to a whole new life, a peaceful life. But I do like how you get the high priest and the high priestess in reverse. Uh, I know she's in reverse, but power couple there. I like it. So I want to get yours is a lovely reading. My water sounds seem to be going through quite a lot. Angel cards for Aquarius. So we've got the seven of fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, but choose your battles wisely. So whether that be with you or other people, kind of don't react. Six of air, things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation. Going from stormy waters to smoother waters. Leaving people in the past. 
10 of earth, a very happy family life, financial security, finding the magic in the little things in life. So in this month, in the 10th month, you are feeling more grounded, feeling the magic, you know, manifesting. Um, and then we get the seven of air. They could have been cheating, lying, stealing in the past. Where, where's that coming from now? The three of earth. So we're coming away from that. Maybe that's what you don't need to react to. You choose your battles wisely because you're moving away from that with the six of air. Going from stormy waters to smoother waters. Clarify. Yeah, because that's what put you in your head in the first place. An illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence. Now you've got the confidence to dip your toe in that water. Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others, right, okay, now I'm seeing a different story. So if you've moved away from somebody and you're ready to dip the toe in and move on with someone else, I feel like the person who hurt you in the past who kind of showed you their true colours aren't going to be happy about you moving on. <laughs> Just let me clarify. Yeah, the ace of water, falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth and... and Enhanced intuition, a new home. The ace of water, it's like they're not going to want to see you emotions like run a forward type thing. So they could be coming back for a bit of um, a reaction. So don't react. Don't react. But lovely reading. Lovely reading. I like it. Nice to do a positive read. Okay. Bye.